Hey guys, Alex Williamson here with the secret history inside of your aquarium. Now, I wanted to talk to you about a specific plant. Now, this plant, you may have seen it at Petco, PetSmart, other big box stores of for pets. And it looks really pretty. It looks, you know, it's a nice looking plant. It looks better than most of the plants they have in these kind of containers, right? Uh, the only problem is they put it in the fish tanks for a couple days and they make it look like it looks great underwater. And it can live underwater and semi-aquatic is kind of a useless term for a plant because actually any plant is semi-aquatic. You can grow its roots in water. Almost any any plant you can do that. It's called hydroponic growing or aeroponic growing if you're misting it. Now, to be fair, there is a fine print on here that says for tropical terrariums, and it does say semi-aquatic. But I don't think that really tells people the full story, especially when it's in a display and it's with java ferns and it's with anubius and it's with temple plant and, you know, stuff like that. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up that white ribbon or dracania sandariania, riana, sand, you, okay, all right, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. You guys pronounce that. But white ribbon plant or white sword plant, is not a good choice for your uh, underwater aquarium. The roots are fine underwater. Part of the leaf can go underwater. It may end up rotting, but the, the top leaves will hold out for a short while, and then they will start turning translucent, and all you will have is the cellulose threads that are in the center of these leaves left, those lines. Um, so I just wanted to give that little tip. Don't buy white ribbon plants if you don't know where they're headed, uh, and if if you want to put them in your aquarium and uh, have them die in a month or two, and it's worth it to you to have a nice looking display aquarium, that's fine. Uh, otherwise, these are more of a terrarium or you know turtle or newt or frog something like that, where you've got some water and maybe the base is wet, um, or it's it's really a house plant like. There's just no way around it. This thing is a house plant. But I picked it up to show you guys uh, because it is in all sizes, small, medium, and large at Petco and at PetSmart. And um, I just thought that that was an interesting little tidbit that maybe would help you guys out. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks, guys.